Welcome. My name is Moises Orozco. I'm a graduate advisor. Graduate advisor, that's my name. <laughs> you see? I'm a graduate student in educational policy studies. This is my fourth semester, second year. And what really sparked this research project, which I've titled uh, UIUC, Lat Latina Latino Students Employ Their Cultural Wealth, stems from my own personal experience being a Mexican immigrant. I'm living in a predominantly Lat Mexican community in Southern California, and then having an opportunity that not many other Latinos have of uh, pursuing my undergraduate at UC Santa Barbara. And just the cultural shock that I went through, going from a community where that was predominantly Lat Mexicanos to a community where I was one of, the minor one of the few Latino students. So that's what really sparks which what really drives this research project. There's a quick presentation outline. First, I'm going to give a context of the state of Illinois as far as Lat Latino student age population, as well as the undergraduate population of Latino students. Then I'm going to go into my research question, theoretical framework, methods, results, discussion, limitations, and areas for future research. So these two graphs, the one on the left is Latino student population at UIUC, and this is for undergraduates. As you can see in 2007, Latino student enrollment peaked at 6.9, 6 it was almost roughly at 7%, but then the following two years, Latino enrollment started to decrease. In contrast, the Latino student age, this is K through 12, has actually been increasing. So from 2004, to 2009, roughly there's been a 3% increase. And white, white student population, white, white student age has actually decreased. And Latinos have become the majority minority for the state of Illinois. So my question is, if the state's flagship institution isn't reflecting the current trends of Latino student population, how is that impacting the Latino students that are enrolled in this institution. So this is my research question. What implications does a decrease in Latino student population have on campus climate, particularly for Latina and Latino students? So my goal wasn't to get, wasn't to get breadth, it was more to get depth. So I wanted to ask, I wanted to conduct a qualitative analysis. So do individual interviews and hopefully that becomes the platform on which I could conduct focus groups. I could conduct larger projects. The theoretical frameworks that I employ is critical race theory. Critical race theory investigates the pervasiveness and pervasiveness of race and racism in U.S. society, as well as within educational policy, within education. In addition to that, I employ Yoso's cultural wealth, and this is a continuation of what we've been discussing as a group, which is social capital. But what Yoso talks about, what Yoso really reinforces is the cultural, the cultural wealth that communities of color bring, that really gets ignored, that really gets discounted, uh, that really doesn't even get considered in the dialogue when we talk about social capital. Usually social capital, we talk about specific types of knowledge. We talk about social, social economic status. So cultural wealth defined by Yoso is an array of knowledge, skills, abilities, and contacts possessed by communities of color to survive and assist racism and other forms of oppression. And these are the six forms, resistance, social, linguistics, aspirational, navigational, and familiar. The method, as I mentioned before, I chose qualitative approach I conducted four semi-structured interviews, two females, two males. I decided to go with senior standing because I felt that they had the most experience here at this institution and they were, they'll, be able, they'll be in the best position to respond to some of the questions that are asked. And I used convenience as snowball technique. <clears throat> one of the results, one of the major results, and I guess it goes back to my, res my research interest and I think this really informs my biases, 
because my experience is unique and I assume that Latinos are gonna have a similar uh, perception of the campus that I do. But that, that got really shaken up and deconstructed and untangled and unwound, which I really liked. <clears throat> so that go, that's more of the reflexive piece that I have to go through 